Hey, hey, it's Michael. Welcome to another tutorial. And this time I will show you how to set up your Kanban project and the Kanban board like a boss. So we've got few things to cover. I'm gonna show you how to create your first Kanban project, how to add tickets, and how to configure the board, plus including backlogging Kanban. Very, 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 very cool functionality. And of course, I'm going to use again a Jira Cloud with a free version. So you don't need to pay for that at all. By the way, this is part, this video is part of my training course. So if you're looking for help, you're going to find, the you're going to find more, more details in the description. And please consider subscribing to my channel. All right. So as I told you, I will be using again Jira Cloud free version. So where are projects? Projects, of course, are located on the top menu under the project. So how to create a Kanban project super fast? Obviously, from the top, we go to create projects, select Kanban, use a template. And at the moment, Jira, is, Jira Cloud is offering two types. This time, we're going to cover the company manage but however if you want to use the team manage which is actually the next gen it's fine but we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about this right here and they are very very different so please make sure if you follow my steps you're gonna use this actually right hand side uh, like a basically um, company manage templates yeah so we're gonna go for this i'm ganna call it kanban MDK. I think it is absolutely fine. Uh, and we go for create project. There you go. All right. So the good news is by default, everything is pretty much okay. However, we need to add few adjustments. So of course, you know, as you probably know, on the left hand side, we've got our menu designated to the project and the meatballs, which is located under the Kanban board, is going to be our settings for the board. And I'm going to give you my basically like a, like a default setup, which probably is going to work for most of companies. How to do it? So what so what we're we going to start the first one? So, we, you know, you can think maybe it is silly, but I will start from actually going to the settings go to details and I will change the project icon. I know, I know it is maybe for you pointless, but believe me, if you're going to have a lot of projects, it is important because why by default, I think they're going to, they're going to go like with random um, uh, icons here. So I'm going to do it, save details, go back and I'm not going to waste more time, but I'm going to start optimizing my Kanban board. By default, Jira is always going to create a simplified workflow. What does it mean? I'm just going to explain you, but, but basically it means you can drag the issue from any place to others to any. So hold on, let's do it because maybe it's a good practice to have a few tickets before we actually start creating our board. So to do that, let's navigate to create. And by default, of course, we've got um, the issue types, which has been assigned to the project is only five of them. So it's a story task, bug, epic, plus sub task. Yeah, every, of course, every issue type in our case, you can actually use sub task. Yeah? So I'm going to go for a story and go for my demo story one, copy that in the description. We don't really need that much. And because I need actually a few more tickets, I'm going to hit create another. Yep, and I'm going to go for a two more demo text, hit create, and maybe this time I'm going to go for a bug. Yeah, like demo bug one, some text, and I'm going to leave it because there is another way how to how you're going to create tickets. Yeah, you just go to create, and what is going to happen every time? when we creating issues, they're going to land in a backlog, but we're going to change it in a second because I would like to show you how to add that another element, which, which is going to be the backlog for our Kanban. But let's leave it for, for a second. 
uh, and oh, of course, you know, this is not possible to create the tickets from here, it's only for Kanban. No problem, that's fine. So now let's focus on our first task, which is going to be, I do not really like that that backlog is part of the board. I would like to have a separate, uh, separate like like the item on that left hand side, how to do it. So we're going to navigate to this right hand side to meet balls, which is the uh, board settings. We go to board settings. We navigate to second one, which is columns. And what we're going to do, we're going to drag to the Kanban backlog. And because this one is redundant right now, there is there is no point to have two, I'm going to delete backlog. Right. So let's see how it works. And believe me, this is going to be also cool stuff because we will be able to create tickets from backlog. So let's do it. Let's go back to board. And as you can see, the board is empty. I'm going to say no, because I know how to use it. And we've got actually new element on the left hand side, which is the backlog. There you go. So yeah, I don't really need to know how to use it. And yes, this is that extra functionality which I told you. Like you can super quickly create the ticket from the backlog, yeah? So I'm gonna show you what's the difference. So like right now, I need task. So I need maybe two more tasks. So two more, let's just maybe go for three. So go for task and go for task one. Come on, task one task two and task three. Look how quickly you can create tickets from the backlog. So this is actually my favorite thing, but you're saying, okay, but what, Mike, what about the description? What about the components? What about whatever else? No problem. If you want to create tickets, for instance, during the call or, or, on, on, or on, the, on the meeting very, very quickly, you're going to do it right here, put that into the summary the very short sweet information and now do left click and you're going to open that menu on the right hand side and fill this up later is no problem yeah we can add comments you can add you can change your sign or whatever you want why because this is actually a really quick one <laughs> quick process so now let's focus on our board yeah so what's going to happen if i would like to start actually working this because as you know kanban doesn't really care about the sprints there is no sprints there is any no time frame in uh, the main purpose of Kanban uh, project is of course you know, to resolve as many tickets as we can, which is gonna be dragged them from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So when we create tickets, it's gonna always land on the backlog. And when you're ready, of course you can actually even set the priority on the top like this, I believe. I hope my internet is not down. No, it is not. <laughs> But yeah, it works fine. So you can, as you can see, you can actually drag and drop them. And when you're ready, you can move them to the first column because this actually, this section of, of, over here, which is select for development, is the first part of the Kanban board. Look at this. I'm going to move them over here. And if I'm going to move now to Kanban board, you're going to see this ticket start appearing to my first column. Yeah, so this is clear. So that's the backlog. It's not part of the, it has been separated from the Kanban board. And when we are ready to start actually working on the ticket, just move them to the first column of the board. And even the order is going to be is, is staying the same. Yeah, so look at this. The, 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 the demo story one is the last one. We're going to switch to board and it is the last one. And now we can start tracking them. Yeah, and now it's also a good time to explain about the Simplify workflow. So what the Simplify workflow is, is as the name is actually saying a lot, means something is simple, simplified. So it means I can take this issue from the select for development column and drag it to any column I want. And yes, this is how by default, it's supposed to work. And I don't really understand why there is so much hate towards Simplify Workflow. They work great, especially for Kanban. But of course, in the next uh, few tutorials ahead, I will be showing you how to convert it from, from non-Simplify Workflow, from Simplify to non-Simplify. So we're gonna have extra actually fun with the workflow, yeah? But I'm not gonna go into super details. However, 
if we're talking about the simplify workflow, I'm going to show you how to very quickly add additional status to my board. And we're going to focus on status called blocked. Yeah, let's do it. So we go into the board settings. There we go. Columns, make sure it's columns. And we have to absolutely make sure that we've got actually those two buttons enabled. Uh, I'm using free version, so there is no way about no way to actually set the permissions. However, if you are using paid version and for instance uh, add status or add column, I think it's eight status is grayed out, it means you probably do not have permission to do that. So you know the best way is to get your very own gear. Alright, so let's add status called blocked. There you go. The category, because I've been rehearsing this before I'm doing, it doesn't really matter too much. It's just a tag for you. So in my case, it's to do because, you know, I believe this when it's blocked, there is no work. So that's why the category is uh, to do. And I'm going to hit add. And, but something interesting happens. Jira done like extra work for you. So Jira added that column, but additionally, automatically, if the status score doesn't exist, was added as well. So look at this now you've got it and if you're not happy maybe you only i don't know like some people just sometimes i've seen this uh, use blocked at the top or sometimes the last one but i think like just before the done is absolutely fine so let's see how it works so i'm gonna go back hit that back part and yeah there is one issue as you can see i cannot move my tasks to block like something is broken and yes i believe it is a bug how to fix it super simple refresh the page. When you refresh the page, it will work. And look at this. And now we can move our issues freely. So now you know how to start your Kanban, how to add first ticket to Kanban, and also how to modify your Kanban board. And very soon, the new video is coming. I'm going to talk about a little bit more advanced stuff. I'm going to show you how to optimize that board so we're gonna have we're gonna have a conversation i'm gonna show you how to add um, card colors how to use quick filters and also how to use swim lines so please subscribe to my channel so you know the new video is coming soon thank you very much and of course if you've got any questions let me know in the comments thank you very much